Hello everyone, it's a wonderful Wednesday today and since you guys are pretty much through all the content I haven't really made any comments on what you should be doing today because most of you are done that. So I'm supposing that you are going to be using your time to work on your genetics project research. So uh, I just put some uh, pointers there about doing APA reference formatting. Uh, the Georgian College site is really lovely and user friendly. Uh, the OWL Purdue site is also very good but a little bit more technical. So anyway, I've referenced uh, those two websites for you to look at in particular I want you to pay attention to how to do in-text citations for this project and also how to um, do a, a proper reference page. A lot of you are still using titles like works cited, uh, sometimes bibliography, okay? We want a title that says just references, centered, no underline. Make sure you're doing alpha order and hanging indent and then the details for how to reference because most of your stuff is coming from the web on how to reference in APA format for, uh, for websites. Uh, so that, uh, be very careful about it. I'm going to be picky about it next time because I've been giving lots of comments and notes and resources on that. Um, additionally, we are going to be moving forward with some sort of narration or video content on this project. Uh, I'm going to give you instructions on how to use Wii Video to do that uh, as we move through the week. Um, you don't need to worry about it just yet. Just keep it in mind that I'm going to want to see your face or your voice on this. Uh, I don't know if you had a chance to look at Claire's project, but she did narrate her work. And to me, it makes all the difference in the world to get an understanding of where you're at with the project. So we're going to be doing that for sure. Uh, for this project and additionally I think we might be doing a flip grid uh, for responses this time and I'll embed that right into the discussion area. Uh, so those are just some heads up on what's coming up with the project. Uh, if you uh, haven't gotten there there is of course a review sheet for the unit test as well which is a, a little ways away I'm just uh, putting it in the back of your head so it can sit there and linger while you're happy that you've gotten through all of your other work. That's it for now and I hope you have a great day.